good YouTube, it's your girl. I'm still Asia, baby. Cause every time I close my eyes, I see you. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome, okay? Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl, okay? If y'all didn't know also, I should say this more. Somebody put this in the comments. I also have a vlog channel, okay? And I also put music on there as well, or I've started to at least. So if y'all wanna go over there and check it out, you can. The channel name is I'm Just Asia. The link is in the description. And I also have a reaction channel with my hubby called Asian and BJ, okay? And if y'all didn't know, that one is also in the description, okay? You can look for the channels and stuff and stuff like that and you'll find them there, okay? <laughs> so, there it is. Um, as y'all can see from the thumbnail today, y'all, um, oh, I'm getting into George Carlin. I think this is the only the second video that I've done of him. And the first one, y'all, was actually really good. He's actually really funny. And I've learned now that he has passed on so I'm interested to see how this is gonna go because I haven't touched him since I did the one video of his a while back. So if you haven't already, be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. I don't think I said that part, but I just said a whole lot within this last like minute and a half. But anyway, this is George Carlin's Save of the Planet, y'all. Let me go ahead and bring him on. Okay, do I need to scoot over here? Yeah, I need to scoot over here. Okay, y'all yeah, be trying to... Oh, <sighs> lip gloss. Okay, lip gloss. You can't, you can't forget that, okay? You can't forget that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Nobody that talk like that. Let me stop. Okay, y'all. So, this is... Uh, I already said George Carlin, y'all. I'm gonna get into this. Let me make it smaller. Just in case I, like, move. Okay? All right. So let's go on and get into this video, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Let go. See, I'm not one of these people who's worried about everything. You got people like this around you. Country's full of them now. People walking around all day long, every minute of the day, worried about everything. <laughs> worried about the air, worried about the water, worried about the soil. Worried about insecticides, pesticides, food additives, carcinogens. Worried about radon gas, worried about asbestos. Worried about saving endangered species. For real. Let me tell you about endangered species, all right? <laughs> saving endangered species is just one more arrogant attempt by humans to control nature. It's arrogant meddling. It's what got us in trouble in the first place. Doesn't anybody understand that? Interfering with nature. Over 90%, over, way over, 90% of all the species that have ever lived on this planet, ever lived, are gone. They're extinct. We didn't kill them all. <laughs> they just disappeared. Right. That's what nature does. They disappear these days at the rate of 25 a day. And I mean regardless of our, our behavior. Irrespective of how we act on this planet, 25 species that were here today will be gone tomorrow. Let them go gracefully. <laughs> Leave nature alone. Haven't we done enough? We're so self-important. So self-important. Everybody's gonna save something now. Save the trees, save the bees, save the whales, save those snails. <laughs> and the greatest arrogance of all, save the planet. What? Are these fucking people kidding me? <laughs> Okay, it's too much of the dang old planet for me to be trying to save the earth. What? Like, y'all. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I know y'all probably going to be like, Asia, okay? You're supposed to help save the planet if you want humanity to continue on. I just say, y'all, he right. Shoot. <laughs> he, he right. Save the planet. What? Are these fucking people kidding me? Save the planet? We don't even know how to take care of ourselves yet. We haven't learned how to care for one another. We're gonna right. save the fucking planet? I'm getting tired of that shit. Man. Tired of that shit. Right. Okay, we got way too much stuff going on between human and human people, okay? Before we try to save the animals and the plants and the trees, which is all things, th those things we actually need. I gotta say, like plants and stuff, y'all, we need that. We do. I mean, for the, for the sake of oxygen, we need to have it but i mean in terms of like the the animals and stuff y'all i mean you know i love animals i love animals but i ain't you know what i mean like are we wasting our time are we wasting our time 
You know what I mean? Especially on the ones that are endangered. I'm just saying. Y'all answer that question down below. I'm just curious to know, you know, what y'all think about that. I'm not trying to start controversy, okay? Please don't fight in the comments, y'all. I'm just asking a question, okay? It's just a question. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I'm tired of fucking Earth Day. I'm tired of these self-righteous environmentalists, these white bourgeois liberals who think the only thing wrong with this country is there aren't enough bicycle paths. <laughs> People trying to make the world safe for their Volvos. Hmm. Besides, environmentalists don't give a shit about the planet. They don't care about the planet. Not in the abstract, they don't. Not in the abstract, they don't. You know what they're interested in? A clean place to live their own habitat. They're worried that someday in the future they might be personally inconvenienced. Narrow, unenlightened self-interest doesn't impress me. Besides, there is nothing wrong with the planet. Nothing wrong with the planet. The planet is fine. The people are fucked. <laughs> Difference. Right? Difference. I was about to say that, I promise you. I was like, no, nah, it's not the planet. It's the people that's messing up the planet, okay? That, I mean, you know, hey. This lady was in front of me the other day, y'all. Threw a whole bag of Sonic out of the out, out the damn window while she was driving down the highway. I couldn't believe it. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Like, y'all, I cannot stand people that litter. I cannot stand it. Okay, like that's the one thing. I promise y'all, one day I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna throw it back at somebody if I ever catch it. <laughs> I'll throw it back. Like, I cannot believe this lady did that. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying to his point. It's not the planet, it's the people messing up the planet. I'm just saying. The people are fucked. <laughs> Difference. Difference. The planet is fine. Compared to the people, the planet is doing great. It's been here four and a half billion years. Do you ever think about the arithmetic? Planet has been here four and a half billion years. We've been here, what, 100,000? Maybe 200,000? And we've only been engaged in heavy industry for a little over 200 years. 200 years versus four and a half billion. And we have the conceit to think that somehow we're a threat? that somehow we're gonna put in jeopardy this beautiful little blue-green ball that's just a floating around the sun. The planet has been through a lot worse than us. Been through all kinds of things worse than us. Been through earthquakes, volcanoes, plate tectonics, continental drift, solar flares, sunspots, magnetic storms, the magnetic reversal of the poles, hundreds of thousands of years of bombardment by comets and asteroids and meteors, worldwide floods, tidal waves, worldwide fires, erosion, cosmic rays, recurring ice ages, and we think some plastic bags <laughs> and some aluminum cans are going to make a difference? <laughs> the planet. You gotta recycle, man. What you mean? Like, y'all, I'm all about recycling, okay? Recycle. <laughs> it's the way to go. Why not? Okay, let me let him finish his point, though, because he probably wasn't done. So. Are going to make a difference? The planet. The planet. The planet isn't going anywhere. We are. <laughs> We're going away. Pack your shit, folks. <laughs> We're going away. And we won't leave much of a trace either. Thank God for that. Maybe a little styrofoam. Maybe. A little styrofoam. Planet will be here and we'll be long gone. Just another failed mutation. Just another closed-end biological mistake. An evolutionary cul-de-sac. The planet will shake us off like a bad case of fleas. <laughs> a surface nuisance. <laughs> Ooh, that's scary, y'all. <laughs> that's scary to think about. I mean, what y'all did tell me with him is that, you know, even though he's he's doing comedy and stand-up, like, y'all, the stuff he's talking about is like real stuff, though. I'm just kind of like, shit, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be shook off like a damn flea. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The fleas. <laughs> a surface nuisance. <laughs> you want to know how the planet's doing? Ask those people at Pompeii who are frozen into position okay. from volcanic ash how the planet's doing. Want to know if the planet's all right? Ask those people in Mexico City or Armenia or a hundred other places buried under thousands of tons of earthquake rubble if they feel like a threat to the planet this week. <laughs> how about those people in Kilauea, Hawaii who build their homes right next to an active volcano and then wonder why they have lava in the living room. 
right. <laughs> the planet will be here for a long, long, long time after we're gone, and it will heal itself, it will cleanse itself, because that's what it does. It's a self-correcting system. The air and the water will recover, the earth will be renewed, and if it's true that plastic is not degradable, well, the planet will simply incorporate plastic into a new paradigm, the earth plus plastic. <laughs> <laughs> the Earth doesn't share our prejudice towards plastic. Right. Plastic came out of the Earth. The Earth probably sees plastic as just another one of its children. Could be the only reason the Earth allowed us to be spawned from it in the first place. It wanted plastic for itself. <laughs> Didn't know how to make it. it. Needed us. Could be the answer to our age-old philosophical question, why are we here? Plastic. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> So, the plastic is here, our job is done, we can be phased out now. And I think that's really started already, don't you? I mean, to be fair, the planet probably sees us as a mild threat, something to be dealt with. And I'm sure the planet will defend itself in, in, in the uh, manner of a large organism, like a beehive or an ant colony can muster a defense. I'm sure the planet will think of something. What would you do if you were the planet trying to defend against this pesky, troublesome species? Let's see, what might, hmm, viruses. Viruses might be good. They seem... Whoa, pause. <laughs> Where did he get that from? Because this right here is way, way old, y'all, for him to be talking about this, okay? Here we are, 2021, okay? I'm just saying, okay? I'm just I'm just a messenger. I just I just go here, okay? I, I didn't, you know... <laughs> Let's see what my hmm, viruses. Viruses might be good. They seem vulnerable to viruses. And uh, viruses are tricky, always mutating and forming new strains whenever a vaccine is developed. <laughs> tell me. Somebody tell me, okay? This man must have been here before. He had to have been here before. <laughs> How long ago was this video? Y'all, nope. No, I, I I can't comment a whole lot on that. Y'all know this, but I'm just saying. I don't know how much of this is not right, but I'm just saying, okay? I got a notification today about a new a new mutation of something. Hey, hey, <laughs> it must be working. It must be. Viruses are tricky, always mutating and forming new strains whenever a vaccine is developed. Perhaps. This first virus could be one that, that compromises the immune system of these creatures. Perhaps a human immunodeficiency virus making them vulnerable to all sorts of other diseases and infections that might come along. And maybe it could be spread sexually, making them a little reluctant to engage in the act of reproduction. Well, that's a poetic note. And it's a start. And I can dream, can I? See, I don't worry about the little things. Bees, trees, whales, snails. I think we're part of a greater wisdom than we will ever understand. A higher order. Call it what you want. Know what I call it? The big electron. The <laughs> big electron. Whoa. 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 No, man. It doesn't punish. It doesn't, it doesn't judge at all. It just is. And so are we. For a little while. Thanks for being here with me for a little while tonight. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> when did this video come out? Y'all, no freaking way. When did this come out? This video, this video, okay? I don't know if this is his actual video. This video is off of Dad Neil, uh, whoever that is, okay? This video was posted October 21st, 2007, which means that this was way, 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 way before <laughs> okay what what happened today happened okay what happened in 2020 <laughs> happened okay i'm just i can't really negate that okay i can't fight for what the band is saying y'all what's scary about it is that you know it's almost like he was way before his time even then you know what i mean like it's almost y'all speaking like facts like that is is just insane it's 
almost scary to think about like how right on he is with what he's talking about because here we are living in that proof you know what i mean like this is this is what we're doing right now today like in terms of like <laughs> the evolution of science okay let's just go with that just science because and i'll leave it at that okay y'all know exactly what i'm talking about but wow 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 okay i have a completely different perspective and a, a whole new respect for mr george carlin after this today y'all okay the man know what he's talking about he owned something okay i i don't know to what degree and and how right <laughs> he might be but i'm just curious to know what y'all think about that i mean how how much of it is factual to you like how do you feel about what he's talking about because i shoot shoot <laughs> if he if he was on then i'm just like how wrong was he with what he was talking about that's all i'm saying somebody help me <laughs> understand okay down in the comment section i just i just want to know i just want to know what y'all think shoot all right so dang george carlin okay shoot okay dang wow okay i'm done <laughs> just i'm just replaying what he was just saying in my head like damn y'all okay that's all i'm gonna say but if y'all enjoyed this video be sure y'all give me a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl and if ain't nobody told you i love you and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video y'all <laughs> bye y'all